hey hello welcome so friend in this video we are going to learn how we can delete a file from sftp server there can be another scenario so suppose in first scenario we have the file name and we have to delete that particular file from server but there can be the different scenarios that we don't we don't have the file name and we have to remove the file whatever file available over the sftp server on the particular location we have to delete all the file so how we will do so in this integration i will tell you i will tell you how we will create integration and what kind of logic we will apply to delete a file from sftp server so let's begin so before going to create a start of creating the integration i will show you that this is my sftp directory and here we have two files and i have to create integration that integration will delete the file from this directory only right whatever file is here we have to delete the file so there is two scenarios that we have the file name and we have to remove the particular file and there is the different scenarios where we don't know how many files are there and what is the file name so as i already explained list file will help you here so with the help of list file first we will identify how many files are there over server and what is the file name then we'll use loop to iterate the list file and in list file we have the file name so we will remove the file based on that particular list file response okay so let's create integration for same so just go here i will create schedule integration select the name xx delete the file from sftp 0 okay create so now here we have created schedule integration in that we have to add the endpoint right so first i will add the endpoint which will list all the file available over the sftp server okay so before going to list i will show you how we can remove remove a single file right so where suppose we have the name as this one and i have to remove delete this file so for deleting single file we need only the operation that is delete operation so i will use delete file okay next here i have to select the operation as delete file delete file will ask you the file name and the directory from where you have to delete so right now i will not pass the file name and directory here i will pass the same by file name and directory in the mapping i told you earlier that we can do the same right we can provide the file name and the directory here in the endpoint only or we can provide in the mapping so here we will provide the file name in the mapping so in the file name mapping here i will provide the directory so this is my source directory from where i have to delete my file so i will copy this directory and so here this is the node right and if you want to add any value in the node right click here and just click on this create target node so it will open in the view only mode you have to click here it will open in edition edit mode just single quotes provide the directory and here we have to pass the file name so here in first scenarios we know the file name which file we have to delete so suppose we have to delete this file so i will copy the name of the file and just click on the create node and provide the name so we have to provide the name in single quotes because everything inside the mapping it's considered as a string so now we have provided the directory and the file name so it's fine completed now close so here once of this action completed our integration will be ended so now i have to remove this error so this error is related to the tracing variables so for each and every integration it's required to have a minimum one tracing variable so i will use a start time as a tracing variable only here you can use the tracing variable also just click on the save close so this integration will remove the de file delete the file from the server and whatever file name we have provided it will delete that file only activate and now after the activation we have to run so here once you will run this file integration the id is 004 we will wait for the completion of this integration so 004 it's in progress yeah it succeeds so once the integration is completed you can move to the sftp part and if you will refresh here the file will be removed now we don't have this file because this file is removed if we will go to the log message here in log message you can see send to delete file this is the endpoint we added right ftp endpoint and send to it means that what is the value we are passing or mapping so once you will click in mapping we provided the file name and the directory this is the directory and this is the file name we passed to remove 
right so now this turn and here in response what we receive if you will see in response we receive the true success and false right so now it's done so our integration is completed fine to delete a file from server now the another scenario is that so suppose we don't know how many file are there in sftp server and what is the file name then how we can delete so because delete operation required file name to delete so how we will know so for check, getting the file name we will use list operation so list operation will list down all the file available here and then we will delete so let me pass the file again here so suppose we pass this ap1 right so here right now suppose we have three files right we provided and we have to delete all these three files so i have to do the changes in integration so first i will add the list operation right so again i have to add the ftp and here i will say list file ftp i have given the name right so now we have to select a list operation list file and the list file will ask the file directory so from where we have to list the file so we have to list the file from here only copy and now here and we have to provide the file pattern so what i told you i we don't know what is the name of the file and all so we will provide a star here a star means that any file any file name anything that file will be text file csv file any file right and everything will be same just next and done so here it will list down all the file available over the sftp server on that particular directory and now we have to run a loop based on the file we receive so here i will add a loop in the this is you can see in the loop repeating element right so here repeating element will be list file response so here list file in response here we have five list inside the file list we have array of the file here you can see this is the symbol of array right so we will drag here and here we have to provide the variable and here we have to provide the name so i will give the name as list file for each okay and i will create the variable as a list file for each loop where okay now create so our loop is added right and here we have to add the moving logic inside the loop so we have to move this endpoint inside the loop right so for reposition the any endpoint you have to click here and you can easily reposition any endpoint so i will move the endpoint inside the loop so here if you will see here i have inside the loop i am going to use delete operation but in delete operation if you will see here we have hard coded the value path and the file name but i told you i don't know the file name what is the file available so what i will do is that inside the loop variable list file for each loop where we have the file name right here you can see we have the file name and file directory so instead of providing mapping here what i will do i will remove the direct file name here from here and i will map this directory from here only done and the second way what you can do you can remove the mapping from here so just right click here and delete the target node so right now you can see the mapping is deleted so just what you need to do you need to just map this file name here so this is the two way we can do the mapping right so validate close so our, our integration is ready right so once this integration will be executed it will list all the file available as ftp server so it will return three file here in the in the response of this list ftp we created the for each loop based on the response of this endpoint so if we have three file this loop will execute three times right this will run three times and each every time we are passing the um, passing the file name and the directory to the delete file operation right and from where we are passing we are passing from the loop variable only so it will run three times it will three delete all three variables so just save close and now activate this integration activate it and done so now we have to run this integration submit so id is 05 i will check the integration 05 05 is in queue it will take a little bit time to execute so right now it's in queue so right now it's in, in process status right so it will complete soon so yeah it's completed so once this completed if you move to the sftp server and you will if you will reload this page the file will be removed from here you cannot see you can see the file 
is not available in the xx data file directory because of the integration right it's remove all the file from here and if you will check the log messages you can see here in the log message here if you will see list file ftp we receive list file ftp it means that this is the response so what a response we got from list file ftp we receive three file name you can see the file is the array here file directory file name supplier one csv another one is that apinv one zero one csv and apinv one zero three csv these three file we received from the this list of the three file and we added the loop you can see the list for each how many times it executed it iterated three times uh, inside the each iteration you can see iteration one what is the value in that loop variable if you will click on the payload you can see the supplier one csv file name right if you will see the iteration two you can see that's another file ap invoices and whatever value we are receiving in the loop variable in the iteration we are passing the same to the delete file ftp so here if you will click here in the message sent to it means that the request we send to the delete ftp the same variable this is the same path and this is the same file name so this is the way we can create integration to delete a single file or delete a multiple file of sftp server we can do various modification in this integration only we can handle the exception and all but right now our purpose is to learn or teach how to use that particular delete operation if you want that i need to create a separate video in which i will handle all the exception please comment below we'll try to create one another video for that thank you so much for watching